Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. This reading is going to be all about what you need to know regarding love and who you might be dealing with. We're also going to look at um, the overall energy for this person. So let's jump right in for Aries. What do you need to know regarding love for Aries spirit? What is going on for Aries in love? What is going on? For Aries in love at this time, spirit. What's going on for Aries? Remember, Aries, not every reading will resonate a hundred percent. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. Okay. We have the seven of cups, eight of cups, and the six of pentacles. Okay, five of wands is at the bottom of the deck. So right away, I'm thinking of someone. Hmm, it's like there is an issue that has already happened that someone's thinking about now with the seven of cups and the five of wands there. I feel like there was some sort of conflict, issue, argument. Let's see overall energy for Aries in love. And now it's like someone's trying to figure out what to do next, where to go from here. This could be you, Aries. This could be the person that you're dealing with, their energy. Yeah, we have storm warning that came out. So there's definitely um, something that has already kind of taken place here. I'm speaking to an Aries where you and your person, there might have been something that already happened. Rest and rejuvenation is at the bottom of the deck, which is reminding me a little bit of the Six of Pentacles, almost like maybe someone is trying to think this through, right? Trying to seek some sort of balance. We'll clarify and see. Let me get one more. What's the overall energy for Aries? Overall energy, please, for, for Aries. What do they need to know? What's the overall energy for them? In love. Closed off. Guarded defensive resistant. So one of you in this connection might have closed themselves off. Maybe there's a block here in communication. I feel like the um, you don't know what the other person is thinking. There's almost like this wall between you. And it's due to whatever happened. This is very interesting. So let's dive a little bit deeper here. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? This is about options, choices, Five of Pentacles. So I feel like someone is trying to get out of this energy. Five of Pentacles energy is like you're out in the cold. You are dealing with struggles, financial difficulty, needing help in some way. You've had a loss with the Five of Pentacles because you're, you're needing help. You needing you're needing to get back on your feet. So I feel like someone's trying to um, get out of this energy. Tell me about the seven of cups. I'm hearing what now? Page of cups. Okay, so there's a ten of wands at the bottom of the deck. So with the page of cups, it could be that this is your person's energy here. Maybe they want to reach out after whatever this storm, conflict, whatever happened between you. It could be, be that they want to apologize or reach out or this is how you feel because I think that someone's just trying to figure out what to say here to get out of this energy of being so closed off from you. They're not doing well with this. Um, maybe they have a lot of pen, pent up feelings. I can't talk for some reason. Uh, maybe they're struggling with what to say. Uh, with the Ten of Wands, it's like they've been carrying this burden for some time. Ace of Pentacles behind that with the King of Swords. I do feel like someone wants to talk to you, Aries. Or you want to talk to someone else. But it's related to what's already happened here. And you're just trying to figure out how to say it, I feel, with the Seven of Cups here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. There's the Eight of Cups here. The Emperor, Aries energy. Okay. Why is it? That's your energy, by the way, Aries, with the Emperor. Why is the Eight of Cups here? 
Eight of Cups is kind of you are leaving something behind, seeking more. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Lovers. Wow. Gemini energy there. Ten of Pentacles. You know what I'm getting here? I feel like someone thought the grass was going to be greener somewhere else. Page of Wands behind that. Four of Cups. Oh, yes. I feel like someone ended up unhappy. Um, if you and this person separated, if there was infidelity here, if someone was almost like thinking, I could do better than this, or I don't need to deal with this, I could do, you know, it's like they were always looking for something else. I feel like it kind of backfired if that's the case. Let me get one more. Tell me about the Emperor and the Lovers. Tell me about the emperor and the lovers. I feel like there was a definitely a special connection here between you and another person. Wow, king of pentacles. And there's the eight of pentacles. I definitely feel like Aries, you and this person had a very special connection. And I don't think you imagined it would end the way that it did. I feel like if this person, um, if you had some sort of falling out with this person, they were probably looking for fulfillment elsewhere or are seeking more and there is nothing better than this is what i'm getting maybe they're learning you know because the eight of cups could also be a card about being on a on a journey of figuring out who you want to be where you want to go what do you want for your life i feel like you had um a very special connection possibly with an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn gemini is here aries is here those are just the signs that have happened like to come out it does not necessarily mean it has to be that sign. But I feel like whoever this was, I think they matched you very well with the lovers. Tell me about the six of pentacles. Why is the six of pentacles here? Strength, Leo energy. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Wow, the Two of Cups. Oh yeah, there's definitely a special connection here. And then the Moon, Pisces energy. Okay, so what I'm getting um, with all these energies, and there's the Magician at the bottom of the deck. Um, this is someone that I feel what's going on for you in love right now is that you're both trying to figure something out about each other. That's what it seems like. There's a lack of clarity because someone's closed off. So you don't really know what the other person is thinking or feeling 100%. All you know is that this is a very special connection. I'm also getting that someone's trying to maybe be brave, um, make something happen here with the magician, really um, go after what they want, but they need to be brave because they don't know how it's going to play out. I see that as well. But this could definitely be a soulmate Aries, someone that you had a very special connection with. I feel like they definitely want to talk to you. Let's see what this Page of Cups is about. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of... Oop. There's the King of Swords. Why is the Page of Cups here? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Pisces energy with the Moon, if I didn't mention that already. Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Spirit for Aries. Page of Swords. Okay, yeah, There's this is just straight up communication. Very honest, open communication. I feel like someone will probably be very honest with you about what their intentions are here. Very direct. You know, it's like this person knows exactly what they want. Um, maybe they've had some sort of, you know, recent situation that has happened for them that has you know maybe gave, given them some clarity because the king of swords and the page of swords they're very they're all about like the truth and nothing but the truth right there's no hiding anything with the page of swords and the king of swords so what do we need to know about this individual what do you need to know about this individual that you're dealing with or might be dealing with in the future spirit what do we need to know about this person Judgment. Oh, yeah, there's realizations happening here. This is someone that's looking back at the past and realizing or learning a lesson. Because I'm telling you, this person that you're dealing with, whether this is you 
or your person Aries. Feel free to flip it if it resonates for you, but someone in this connection thought that things would work out elsewhere. And they thought happiness was elsewhere. And I don't think that that's really what happened. And maybe they're realizing that they made some mistakes here. Judgment is also about second chances, renew, uh, resurrections. Tell me more about this person that Aries is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about them? Ten of Wands shows up again. So I feel like this is someone that has been dealing with some baggage from the past. They're realizing something about whatever it is that they're dealing with. Um, it's tied to the past. There's so many ways to interpret this. You know, it could be that someone has realized why things have been so difficult. It could be that someone has over time made, you know, a connection in their, in their mind or, you know, in their intuition. It's like they're realizing they're connecting the dots as to why something didn't work out. <laughs> Excuse me. Tell me more about judgment and the Ten of Wands. I just want to get one more card down. Tell me more about judgment and the Ten of Wands. Oh, I got two. Knight of Cups and the Empress. Oh, yeah. I definitely feel like this is someone that not only are they having a realization about the past, like I've been saying, but they want to share their feelings here. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, um, King of Swords, right? Like, this is not just... And I feel it's because we have the Emperor and the Empress on the board, a divine pair. This is a pair that really matches well. We have the Two of Cups, the Lovers. This is your soulmate. There's the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like whoever's been closed off might be reaching out here. They have something to say because they want to share what they've learned or what they've realized. I mean, it's, it's something tied to whatever this is that has been going on. I feel like someone has had some sort of difficulty in their life with storm warning. Um, this is reminding me a lot of like a tower. So this could be a tower that happened between you and them, Aries. Or it could be a tower that's happening in their own life. And towers, sometimes they bring, they bring about... I can't speak today. Sometimes they bring about some sort of realization, right? Something that's a bit shocking. It shakes things up. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Aries. Spirit, what do we need to know about this person's energies towards Aries? I'm not giving up. And you are my, my soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is a very strong connection, Aries. Possibly a soulmate from uh, a lot of you here. And I find it very interesting, this I'm not giving up energy, because I almost get the sense that this person just needs to tell you how they feel. They have to be open with you about how they feel. Tell me about this person's energy. Tell me about this person's energy. You know, I feel like this person has realized they've made a mistake. And you had a reading like that where the title literally was about someone making a mistake. Check out your playlist. It's linked in the description box um, if you want to check out that reading. Because there's definitely someone in your uh, midst that knows they've made a mistake. But they, they're they actually going to do something about it. Cold shoulder. Silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. You haven't talked to this person for some time. This person feels very far from you. Yeah, they're secret admirer at the bottom of the deck. So whoever this is, they don't really have access to you at this time, but they're keeping tabs on you. It's very interesting because I feel like this person, you know, they're going to be, I guess, reaching out and cutting through this cold energy, closed off energy. I think that's why strength is here. They, you know, they're... They're willing to take the chance because there's no telling how this is going to go because I feel like someone has been kind of in the wings, admiring you from afar, um, hoping to end this 
lack of communication, I guess I should say. Please ignore my dog Leon in the background. He is probably barking at an Amazon package. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the bonus reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.